The retina, which lines the back wall of the eye, is responsible for sight. In dry macular degeneration, deposits collect underneath the retina. In wet macular degeneration, abnormal blood vessels begin to sprout. A molecule known as a vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, is released in wet macular degeneration. VEGF binds to its receptors much like a key entering a lock. VEGF is a signal which causes leaky blood vessels to form underneath the retina. As these abnormal blood vessels leak and bleed, the retina becomes swollen and vision may decline. The main treatment for wet macular degeneration is an injection of medication into the eye. This medication is delivered close to the retina after freezing and cleaning the eye, and most patients experience only minimal discomfort. These medications work by binding to the VEGF that is released, much like a sponge. As a result, the VEGF cannot bind to its receptors. These injections slow or stop the growth of abnormal vessels. As with any medical procedure, injections of anti-VEGF may help to preserve or slow the risk of vision loss from wet macular degeneration. Injections carry risks each time they are performed. They last only a certain time, and repeated injections may be necessary to preserve vision. Talk to your ophthalmologist about the benefits and risks of anti-VEGF medication to learn more.